Four Lessons from Joseph Journey with God Intimacy with God leads to earthly success. The Lord was with Joseph and he became a successful man. His master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord caused all that he did to succeed in his hands. Genesis chapter 39 If you were to read the, ca- the account of Joseph's life in Genesis chapter 39, the first few verses describe Joseph's notable success in Egypt. All because the Lord was with him, it is an implication that Joseph had an intimate relationship with God. Intimacy with God leads to spiritual success. And after a time, his master's wife caused him cast her eyes on Joseph and said, Lie with me. But he refused and said to his master's wife, Behold, because of my master has no concern about anything, the house, and he has put everything that he has in my charge. He is not greater in this house than I am, because you are his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? Genesis chapter 39, 7-9 Immorality is an ambition in the sight of God. Definitely, Joseph understands that principle and the holiness of God. Joseph reverential, reverential fear of God, the ran away from the situation that tested his mortal and chose to honor God. To honor God. And his earthly master, even in his absence, unless we fear the Holy God, we cannot flee from temptation and achieve victory in our spiritual battles. Intimacy with God doesn't exempt us from life tests made of the impurity of Joseph and yet he was falsely accused by the wife of the Potiphar. That is chapter 13 verse 18. Well, chapter 13, chapter 39 verse 13 to 18. Imagine Joseph stabbing pain his heart caused by her self accusation and an unjust verdict from Potiphar who once trusted him. And the third, Joseph kept his stead- steadfast faith in God. Intimacy with God's beings. People's favor. So, Joseph found favor in his sight and attended him, and he became in charge, and, and he made him overseer of his house and put him in charge of all that he had. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him steadfast love and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison put Joseph in charge of all the prisoners who were in Genesis, Genesis chapter 39, verse 4 to 21, 23. So lahat ng nagpagpinagdaan ng Joseph. Uh, Pinahintok siya ng mga kamikit na. Uh, Mrs. Potiphar said lie to, to her husband about Joseph because she or Mrs. Potiphar accused Joseph. But Joseph didn't do that. Because he knows that that's not nice, that's not right. But God trust, but Joseph trusted in God's plan. Sana tayo din maniwara tayo sa plano nila, kasi siya lang ang may plano sa atin na maganda. Kaya kasi para sa atin, sana tanggapin natin itong pandemya na kahit alam yung mahirap kailangan natin tanggapin at pagdaanan kasi dito lang na dito lang mapapasunayan ng Lord na kaya tayo uh, He that God 
can heal us and God will protect us and God will never leave us alone. God will never forsake you. Uh, God will never leave you or not forsake you because that's the promise of God. So, um, quote of the day natin is there is, uh, sorry. The quote natin today is when God speaks to you, listen to Him. If you listen to Him, your life will change. Open your ears, stop, look, and listen. And the Bible of the the Bible word of the day. But they who wait for the Lord shall in this strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be. It's Isaiah chapter 14 verse 31. Sana the bless kayo sa mga verses and life lessons from Joseph's story or journey. And sana may natutunan kayo sa quotes. Sana supportahan niyo pa ako. Tutuloy-tuloy ko to. So, and, and, uh, God bless everyone. See you on Friday. That is May 23? I'm oh, sorry. May 20? I'm not mistaken. At 21. May 21. May 21. Uh, kita, tayo, kita kita tayo sa May 21 kasi meron akong dance choreography para sa inyo. God bless and stay safe. Bye!